Gavin here at Rooster Teeth Expo, and I'm joined by... Ian Moreno from the Behemoth. From the amazing, amazing Behemoth, which I absolutely have always loved. Awesome. And we're also joined by Mr. Cupcake. How are you, Cupcake? He's a little shy. Yeah, he's a little... We, okay, so you know why he's shy? He's flinging pieces of his skin onto people, obviously. There's a spoon, and he's pulling the lever to just throw his brains out. Uh, that's kind of twisted when you think about it, right? Oh, absolutely. What happens when he runs out of frosting? I can't, that's kind of spoilery. Oh. I can't, I don't want to spoil what happens. So he'll just not be a cupcake, he'll just be like a regular cupcake cake. It's, it's husk, this empty shell of a cupcake. So, why is Behemoth so cool? Ooh, excellent question. I don't know, where should I, where can I start? Um, because we make games that make people laugh, no, I, I don't know, we make, we make games that make us laugh and in turn it seems to make people laugh. They're really good games. Like Alien Hominid, why is that so game so ridiculously hard? <laughs> I don't think I've ever completed it. I was just talking to somebody about that very same subject earlier today. Um, it was our first title, and it was you know throwback to shooters, and it, it was again because it was it, it was and harkening back into um, arcade style shooters that were you had to figure out you know patterns and puzzles. And admittedly, it is, we've made a game that was way too hard, and that's where Castle Crashers comes in, in that it was a resp direct response to that in terms of making it kind of more accessible and not making you want to throw your controller across the room. Which I loved. I, I like the games that are ridiculously hard. Like, we played the Pandemic board game, and we've won it twice in a year. <laughs> I don't know if you ever played it, but it's ridiculously hard, too. It makes me think of Alien Hominid, and you make such really, really interesting, fun games. Why have you not made a game featuring a character made completely out of bacon? It's too easy, right? No, it's, it's not too it's easy. It's like if we made something out of like with a kale character these days, or uh, or um, what else is trendy right now? I don't know. Bacon's not trendy. Bacon is eternal. Do you know how many times I had pork belly this week already? Really? I don't know. It seems like every day. Every well, you are in Texas. That's we got to give you that much credit. But if you were to make a game based around a guy based out of bacon, what, what would your one sentence pitch be? My my bacon game pitch. So, I think it's easy, yeah, like, I think of bacon, okay, when you think of bacon, you think of this, like, sizzly, fat, and meaty thing, but I'm more interested in the bacon grease, and I think that's where, that's the highly overlooked, you know, um, byproduct of bacon, is bacon grease. So, I'd want to make a game about the grease, so my pitch would be, man, you're really putting me on the spot with this one. Let's see, let's see. Byproducts of bacon grease, we make grease. Okay, everybody loves bacon, but grease is where it's at. That's oh, terrible. we can make it into a musical where he has to like go kill bacon for their grease, because <laughs> grease is like the bacon blood life. <laughs> there you go, okay, cool. You're doing all the work for me. So yeah, so it's more like a health meter thing. You gotta wanna increase your bacon, so your, your grease levels, so you have to do, so there has some, some mechanic about making more grease, and it probably has to do with your life force. Um, but it's all about it and you want more of it. There's something there, there's something there. So that's how gaming design works, I guess, is you just kind of come up with these random ideas. Now, if, a, if any studio could come to you and say, we want you to make a game, what studio would you want to have come to you and what game would you love to have crack at? Like, would you like to make an alien hominid version of Halo with like little Master Chief running around blowing stuff up? Ah, oh, that's tough. Uh, it, you know, it, it's kind of, it's a little easy. But it's such like this un this this IP that you can never really touch. You know, a lot of people in the company would probably say something like River City Ransom or like um, Gunstar Heroes. But I mean, if it's on a personal level, I, I there's some Nintendo IP that I think you could have a lot of fun with just because it's so sacred. And then I'd want to like is it Mario? Something. Well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be Mario, but we could just say Mario. But I just but it, it's just so sacred that it just wants you to mess with it. See, and that's what your games like to do. They like to mess with things, and I think it would be really fun to see you take on like a major franchise and just throw all the rules out the window, because how many times do we need to hear your princess is in another castle? Yeah. That's the way I look at it. And so I enjoy your games more than some mainstream games, because I could just sit down and play and have fun, and they're goofy. They're really, really fun. Like, I love Castle Crashers, and I don't know what the one with Medusa is, though. What is that one? That's Castle Crashers. It's the Medusa I guess I didn't boss. get that far, because I don't... 
I, I'm sorry, I was a Happy Wars fan. Once that came out, I kind of moved on. That's fair enough, fair enough. So Happy Wars, have you played Happy Wars? Yeah, I've played a little. I'm Really nice excited. people. Got to yeah. meet them one time. Very awesome. Yeah. So what is the story with the cupcake? I can't tell much. So uh, with every new game, it's code It's, it's code name. So Battle Block Theater was game three for probably a year. Um, so now we're at game four, which we haven't really gave the full official announcement. Um, we're just kind of teasing it out, dropping little hints here and there. So the first being, actually the second, we had a shirt at uh, PAX, but this is the new guy, uh, the Cupcake. And all I can say is game four, it's a new genre for us. Um, uh, it, what else can I say? No release date, but, uh, and there will be poop. You heard it here, the Cupcake's gonna involve poop, hopefully not on it. So thanks for taking time to talk to us. Yeah, you guys at Behemoth are awesome. I can't wait to see what comes of Cupcake. And I'm going to go have to find the Medusa boss because she looks cool. I'm going to have to get out of Happy Wars. What can I say? <laughs>